thank you all for coming out today. It feels so sad on some level, <laughs> even having to march for something as basic and obvious as transparency in front of this embassy where I and every other American in London have spent so much time beneath that mighty eagle that Donald Trump is doing so much effort at this time to embarrass and humiliate and defame across the world. But on the other hand, it's incredibly heartening to see all of you here not tired of protesting, still protesting after all the marches we've gone on already this year. And we're here today marching for truth and transparency. And it's easy to forget this, but you know, President Trump himself is actually a big believer in transparency. No, honestly, he is. He spent five years banging on about President Obama releasing his long form birth certificate. And I was in New York when all this was going on at the beginning, working for The Guardian out there. And I asked him about this and he said, why doesn't he show his birth certificate? There's something on that birth certificate that he doesn't want us to see. I asked him, Donald Trump at the time why this mattered so much to him. And he said, because American people should know the truth. He's right. American people and all people should know the truth because truth and transparency are not partisan issues. They are the base minimum that we expect of our politicians. Donald Trump has thrown that out with the trash. The man who insisted that the previous president dig out his long form birth certificate because he didn't believe a black man could be actually born in America has become the first president in history to refuse to show his tax returns. His administration announced in April that they will no longer, uh, that the White House visitor logbooks would no longer be made public, meaning the public will no longer know who's visiting the White House. It was announced yesterday that the Trump administration is considering stopping the former head of the FBI, James Comey, from testifying in the Senate hearing by invoking executive privilege. Now, it can get pretty boring keeping track of all the ways President Trump is trying to obscure transparency. And it can feel really pointless reeling off all his faults and hypocrisies that those of us who have known his existence, who grew up in New York since the 80s, have known him to be like this all his life, and it can get really boring going over this over and over again. And it can certainly be easier just to laugh at his stupidity. And it can even feel irrelevant after a week in which Trump managed to distract us again from his previous bad behaviors by committing even worse behavior by pulling out of the Paris Agreement. But it mustn't and shouldn't, because it's only by continually reminding ourselves and others how unacceptable the current administration's behavior is, that we stop it from being normalized, and that we can fight for the kind of politics that we don't just deserve and want, but that we need. Transparency and truth should be the aim of all of us, whatever our political stripe, whether you voted Republican or Democrat, Tory or Labor, because we all share this planet, and without truth and transparency, we cannot be sure our politicians are working for its and our benefit. We have no idea who they're in talk to, who they're giving backhanders to, who's pulling their strings, what they actually believe without it. And I'm tired, I'm so tired, and I'm sure all of you are so tired of politicians and people on social media and certain other members of the public putting their own biases and knee-jerk partisan neuroses ahead of the obvious, genuine collective good. The fight back has already begun. We've already been part of it. So it's not starting here, but it's continuing here. And that makes me proud, and that's for the eagle, that's who we're doing this for. Thank you everyone for coming.